Welcome to the fourth episode of European Salas for uh, the King Rules uh, Sardinia Piemont. Yeah, a lot of brands go into this uh, a bit too much, and I want to add that uh, it's like um, I don't know. It, let's play European Salas for the King Rules Sardinia and Piemont. Blah blah blah. I need to find a convenient intro for this series. Also, uh, yeah, all this is free. I Every start of the game, I'll, I will uh, show this because you don't usually see Haiti colonizing um, Africa. I mean, in the real history, it happened, of course. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll turn down the game sound a bit. But as we all know, Haiti was one of the biggest colonizers of Africa. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now I know where we left off. Shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, fuck. Wait, it, fuck me. Oh my god. Uh. Shit. Um, so that made a... Uh, no, I, oh, did I... Did I... Did I change the command again? Let's just win this one. Okay, yeah, we will win this one because... I like to have everything open. That's just great. What are they? They have Sardinian revolutionaries. Okay. Wait. Sardinian revolutionaries. Sardin uh, Sardinia PM. The second revolutionary army. Mm, Benedo. Benedo. Massioni. The same long like intro as the intro to my video. Can I? No. No, I won't. I will wait until they attack me. Fucking hell. Advisor, I will put up some advisors. I like this. But I need this, so. Sorry. We'll just wait here. Replenish our forces and then we'll attack. Oh, I don't know what's with the frame rate. So, yeah, um, welcome to this broken world. Uh, in the last episode, last few episodes, I got this like, uh, let's watch the world burn. And uh, I now listen over that mother might have sounded bad because, like, uh, the let me just increase this. The, the, these nations escaped their colonial overlords. I am calling that watching the world burn. The world burn. That might be a bit unsensitive, and especially because I am for um, I am for the people who fight against um, the clon their colonial masters against imperialism, and I am for these people. But it's kind of I call it watching the world burn because it's so different than what you are used to, so like, it's watching the world burn in a sense that, I don't know why I say it, but, um, just because like, I don't know how to explain it, to watch the world burn because it's different, usually the world doesn't burn, in that sense, I wanted to present it in that way, and because it's a semi-reference and a catchy thing you could say, but, uh, yeah, R Spain, so Brazil, modern day, modern day Bra Brazil. Actually, this is uh, Uruguay. So from here, um, Spain, Brazil, Portuguese Brazil, Brazil, Portuguese Brazil, Brazil. Oh my God! Uh, wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought this were another like colonial, colonial nation. Haiti is colonizing here. Oh my God! Um, uh, I because I can't wait for Tropico 5 one of my most no this is the most anticipated game of this year for me and uh, let's just oh do I have I have invested this much into this man oh no I didn't did I 
No, Astra, Astra did. Wait, I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, am I helping Austria? Maybe because I'm under the Holy Roman Empire. I don't know. But the cool thing is, uh, the thing that should be that after, like, because the it's 1746 and the Holy Roman Empire doesn't have any imperial reforms done, and I think that's stupid because the real AI would be like at least here, or maybe even all the whole way through, very rarely, but it could, and it just, um, it's stupid that you have a disadvantage if you want to start later as Austria, but it should have more, uh, uh, the, the pol more policies like the Holy Roman Empire done. Uh, sure, why the hell not? I, I always let people travel through my land, and this is exceptionally good because they might travel into the rebels and kill them. But, yeah, what I want to say, uh, I watched uh, go through my lands, I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, because I'm super can't wait for Tropico 5. I said, like, uh, I every day, not. Not every day, but every week I at least watch Oops, sorry about that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my f why? Why? Why you do this? I will come back to the tropical team, let's just say where will they They will just scam scam the game a bit. But even like I don't I think general or some Clive, I don't know what the fuck his name is. Um, the guy who did the videos, you don't remember. That's how I know him. Um, also, do this like, sees where the revolution is going to happen and sends in the army. That's a cheating a bit, but. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, this is not like. Just destroy them. Um. Uh, Where is Sardinia? I'll just lose this and let's do this. No, oh, fuck, I. Oh, yes, I probably should have done that. Actually, let's do that now. Now I'm stupid because I, sh uh, I should have. Nah. Uh, so fucking pissed at myself. And I'm losing money. Yeah, I'm no advisor now. But yeah, I was as I every week I watch at least hour or two hours or three four hours of um, documentaries on YouTube, which is to a certain point, I mean illegal. It's not illegal, but the they shouldn't post uh, videos like documentaries on YouTube that aren't allowed. But um, so I uh, like so every week I watch a few hours of that and. Um, like because I'm super hyped uh, for Tropical, I have been watching like um, uh, for Latin American countries, and I watched like a documentary about Haiti. I already knew they had like um, something that they were very proud of. That they um, actually this is the wrong way around. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, here today here's the Dominican Republic, and here's Haiti. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a, a second. I have a map here. Let me just check because I watched the documentary. They don't like each other. Oops, sorry about that. Just a second. Yeah, I was right. I just wanted to check yeah, because today they don't like each other and they didn't like don't like each other through the history. Um, yeah, I, I started watching the documentaries. I already knew from the past um, that uh, Haiti has revolted against France because uh, Haiti was a colo colony of France and uh, they have um, they're going to go up um, I will continue talking I don't want to get distracted too much um, just like this um, best general I want okay okay yeah, and I already knew that, and that 
uh, they uh, had like slavery uh, and they have uh, a black man uh, led the revolution against France and um, it's very important to them and uh, they uh, like to uh, present themselves as they have uh, escaped the colonial overlords uh, that's the Haiti side and I already knew that they um, uh, yeah, they uh, t uh, gained their freedom by a revolution against France, one of the most uh, uh, strong, one of the strongest uh, empires on the world at that time. And the thing that happened is that, um, mm, yeah, I yeah, I need to concentrate more. The thing that happened is that they overthrew France, and then they were very. Uh, par paranoid that the French will come back because that was actually one of the most profit <laughs> one of, that was one of the most profitable uh, colonies of all time because it has such a small land mass but a lot of sugar uh, because of it was big on sugar industry and they burnt every I mean everything uh, linked to slavery they after the they defeated the French they destroyed uh, and they are very proud of their anti-imperialism while uh, and I already knew that then the man who led the revolution against the French I can't remember his name but I don't know he, I know he's black but I yeah I just can't uh, yeah, I, I, I can't now I, I'll look it up I, I know his name but I just can't remember now and why um, and yeah, they're very proud to allow the Dominican side. They are more proud uh, to show that they were a colony of Spain. And they all oh, look at us. We were the colony of somebody. Well, so one side is very pro. Yeah, we were a colony. Um, practically, we were a colony. While on the right, left side of the island, it was Haiti, which is, uh, fuck, we don't want to be a colony. And we don't want to be someone's... Uh, uh, some as I don't know how to call it. I want to call it, but I don't think that's appropriate to say. But they don't didn't want to be some as slaves, literally. But it, it's an interesting documentary, and um, I'm personally anti-imperialist, and I don't like Spain or France or anybody. So I like the Haiti side, but Haiti side the Haiti side is really uh, fucked up now because of uh, America. Uh, and especially America, France, Britain, because they didn't want, because Haiti is actually, I think the first, they said something like, it was the first black uh, run uh, country in the Western ha Hemisphere. I have a problem talking today. And, um, yeah, the <sighs> all the fucking bad pop ups. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, they. Um, they were the first black Quran country in the Western Hemisphere, and I, they said like something that they are the first free, uh, free black country. Like uh, with, I don't know what they meant by that. Yeah, I'm doing this for Austria, not for me. I don't know why that is because probably I'm on the whole Roman Empire. I don't know, and um, yeah, they're very very proud that. Uh, that they have fought of friend, the French, and um, yeah, they are very proud of that. Well, the the Mexican side isn't. Welcome back. Okay. So, uh, so uh, sorry about uh, the cut. Now the thing that happened is that uh, well, it's a day later and uh, a lot of things happened. So oh my god, the frame is just fucking out. Um, so let's continue. Uh, what was I talking? I was talking because the thing that happened is that okay, okay, now everything's working. This is might be confusing to you. Uh, the thing happened. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's just put some lower. Uh, yesterday, when I was recording, um, I needed to stop. I had to do something, and then I ne I couldn't. Um, okay, okay, okay. I couldn't um, record anymore. And what happened is that what happened is that uh, so middle of recording I couldn't record anymore, and from then 
uh, yesterday I had two monitors the setup was I had two monitors okay so one bigger than the other and I had that was it today my setup is one monitor and the second monitor on my table and an oculus rift hooked up to the um, to the PC well not completely hooked up so the recording wouldn't fuck up and uh, all the things you need to uh, to have with uh, the oculus plus my headphones plus the microphone plus uh, pencils and stuff are all on my table so it's quite messy and um, yeah I was talking about Haiti if I'm not mistaken yeah and yeah I didn't when I, when I, when I stopped I'll just repeat everything because I think I didn't explain it well enough uh, so today this is the Dominican Republic and this is Haiti about I don't know where the direct borders but now uh, the site which they are so it's and the Dominican side doesn't like really the Haiti side and otherwise except uh, that was exceptionally in the uh, past especially in the past what I meant <coughs> what I meant to say and today I think uh, it's like racism in the past it was very very prevalent um, now it's stopping but they still hate each other because this site was under Spanish control this is under French and on the Spanish control they really well cherish that they were a colony one they don't hide it they promote it they say look we were a colony of the Spanish Empire uh, look what we can do and the thing is that their racism it's weird because oh I had minus the racism here is weird because it's like um the there weren't like um the work the, the way it works here it was they had plantations but the workers and the men who owned the plantation like rode on a horse they both had like not equal but near equal standings in society society the black people and the white people but they were all counted as n not black or white but Hispanic and you had the major uh, the majority of the population here was black but the Spanish crown and said no you're not black you're Spanish even though half of them were black and then many people today even and especially in the past said to themselves well, you know whether if I'm black I'm not black I'm Hispanic but there was no like racism towards them uh, for the most part it's for the most part now of course there are exceptions while on the Haiti front so here uh, there was heavy um, plantations so one man ruled while the black man uh, uh, worked on the plantations um, and um, yeah there was heavy uh, exploitation of the black people and um, in uh, before Napoleon, a bit before Napoleon, they revolted against France, and the black people seized power, and uh, they're really hating of their former colonial colonial overlords. So they were very against. The, they weren't proud that they were a colony. They were proud that they could escape the colonial grip. Well, uh, the Dominican side cherishes that it was a colony once. So that's what I meant to say last time. And um, yeah, it's really oh, great. It's a really interesting uh, history that not a lot of people know because um, America did some shit here. And I want to talk about it later. But uh, yeah, I think this will be the end of the episode. Sorry for the, a bit of a weird episode because. Um, it's half of it's in one day recorded and that half was recorded in the other day a totally not totally but a quite a different recording uh, uh, like uh, it's not procedure but with all the things hooked up on my co on my desk um, so yeah sorry for that uh, the next episode I'm going to uh, do right now will be pro with more professionality so yeah. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, like. If you want to uh, continue watching this series, subscribe so you will 
have notifications when I put up videos. Thank you and goodbye.